Hello and welcome back to our channel. I'm Michelle C. I'm Michelle K. And today we're looking at some Am I the A-hole stories on Reddit. Okay, let's just crack on, shall we? Yeah, let's go for <laughs> it. I've got no idea what's coming. So. Okay. Am I the a-hole for not getting a better job so I can pay more child support? Wow. Mm. Quite the title. I know. Well, from the title alone, I'm thinking no. Yeah, I'm thinking no <laughs> as well. Because, you know. But let's see what their story is. So, me and my ex-girlfriend Kayla have two children. Eight male and 15 female. Okay. We broke up six years ago and have 50-50 custody and I pay her child support. Hang on a minute. So already I'm like, why are you paying child support if you've got 50-50? 50-50, yeah, no. Mm -hmm. I make 50k per year and she gets about 1k per month. She has never worked even before we had the kids. Mm, why not? Yeah. A 15-year-old and an 8-year-old, she could be working during the day when yes. they're at school. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. But anyway, me and my girlfriend Serenity... I've been together for four years and both my kids love her. She's so sweet, incredibly smart and so hardworking. She has her own business and makes 100k a year. Kayla, Serenity and I grew up extremely poor and I got my new job five years ago so I could better provide for my kids and I know the struggle. The problem is we have completely different lifestyles in our homes than Kayla's home. We live in a typical middle class lifestyle and Kayla lives how we used to live on government assistance in a bad neighbourhood and uses public transportation. It's because she's not working. Well, yeah. Um, Serenity saved for six months to buy a luxury Lexus SUV. She always wanted one and we shared my car while she was saving. She posted a video of the car on Instagram and the keys. My daughter sent Kayla the post and she went off. Ah, oh, sounds very entitled. Yeah, she, she called me and told me how dare my girlfriend ride around comfortably while my children are living in the hood. She said my daughter cries sometimes when she gets back home because Serenity has luxury bags and clothes and makeup, but I don't buy that stuff for her. I told her I can't afford that stuff because I'm too busy putting money in her college fund and that unlike her, I don't just get handed money. She says I need to get a better job so I can pay more child support. <sighs> I told hey. her absolutely not. She called my mother and my mother said I need to get a better job and do what's best for the kids. Oh, stinks of feminism <sighs> this. I can get like a better radical. paying <laughs> I could get a better paying job and work for Serenity, but I refuse to do so just so Kayla can have more of my money that I work hard for. While well, she sits at home all day and does Exactly. Work. I know my kids don't have the best lifestyle at like their mum's, but if it's such an issue with Kayla, she should get a damn job like I did. Well, yeah. She then went on Facebook and made a post about how my girlfriend drives around in a luxury vehicle, but my daughter takes the bus to school. Everyone commented that I'm a POS and I need to do a better job. Am I the a-hole for refusing, refusing to get a better job to pay more child support? I don't think you should be paying child support anyway, if I'm honest. That's not child support. That's her support. girlfriend's support. Yes. If wow. you've got 50-50 custody, she should want to go and get herself a job so that she can move her and her children out of the hood. As he But she just it, wants you know? handouts. Well, this is it. She just sounds lazy and entitled and expects everyone, you know, just, please, sir, can I have some more? Yeah. <laughs> no, actually. If I can give anyone... One piece of advice, be careful who you have kids with. Oh, absolutely. Jesus. Yeah. Do you have a look at some comments. Yeah, go for it. Not Torture. the a-hole. Since your ex-girlfriend has literally never worked, why are your kids concerned about your new girlfriend's car when they should be concerned that their mum isn't willing to work to help provide for them? I'd be singing a very different tune if your ex was working full-time and struggling, but mm. you've said that's not the case. Time for her to get a job. Yeah. Absolutely. And take some responsibility for the children that she's Ooh. also brought into the world. He didn't make them on his own. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> wow. Someone's put, to be fair to the kids, I bet they're only concerned about his girlfriend's car because their mother put it into uh, their Well, heads. absolutely. And this is shaping young lives again. Yeah. And they're going to grow up to be entitled. Yeah. 
you know? Yeah. And that poor lad that they've got is probably going to grow up thinking that he's got to bend over backwards. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, also, correct me if I'm wrong, but his new partner... Uh, girlfriend, doesn't she work hard and make a hundred thousand pounds a year? Yeah, it's her own business. So it's her own car. Yeah. So is is you know is this woman yeah. implying, um, as in the ex, is she implying that the new girlfriend needs to also contribute? It sounds like it. Even because, though I mean, why they're not married? No, but even even if she's not they like the were, stepmom, even if they were. They're his kids. They're not her children. She is in no way... I mean, she probably does contribute significantly to the household that their children spend 50% of their time at. Exactly. You know? And the kids love her, apparently, he said. So, I... No, not the arsehole. Definitely not the arsehole. No. Um... (sighs) Well... Well, was a long-time single mum here, not the a-hole... Your girlfriend is supplying her own financial needs, not you. Yeah. 1K doesn't sound like a lot to some, but you split custody, so I think it's fair. I mean, it's more than fair. He yeah. doesn't need to give her any money because it's a split 50-50 custody. Well, that's it. If your ex wants her children to have a lifestyle similar to your girlfriend, she better get out there and make some money or forego the child support and take them full time. Then she can pay you. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Well. And someone said, my mum got just over $400 for two with full custody. A thousand would have prevented many nights of trying to sleep off an empty stomach. Oh. And this is it. She's so entitled. I know that's what I said. So entitled. So entitled, expecting something for nothing. Mm. And, you know, obviously she she would get state help as well. Well, she is so, getting state help. That's what he said. And I mean, if the system over there is anything like it is over here, um, child maintenance that you receive from an absent parent mm. doesn't affect those state benefits yeah. in any way, shape, or form. So, yeah, you know, what's what's she spending the money on? Well, exactly. Got to just throw it out there. Surely, if she wanted to move out of the hood, you know. Even on that money, potentially, she could. Yeah. Well, someone said, if it's 50-50, why does the guy pay the mum at all? Well, exactly. That's question. what we said. It's, it doesn't yeah. seem right at all if he's got the children 50% of the time. Yeah, because it sounds to me as if this is what they... Like, this isn't a court-ordered no, this payment. Is, it yeah. sounds like it's just something they've worked out amongst themselves. If it was court ordered, then um, shame on the judicial system for that because yeah. it's not it's not just at all. She needs to take some responsibility for her children. Someone said here, not the a hole for not wanting to get a job to pay more child support, but something seems off here. If it were really fifty fifty, then you wouldn't be having to pay child support. Like I said, I think it's something they've arranged amongst themselves. Yeah. And, they've, and then they've put, you care more about spiting your ex than providing a better life for your children. And by this, I mean, why not have kids live with you as the primary? I mean, it doesn't sound like he wants to take his kids away from his ex, though. Well, no, it doesn't at all. You know? Um, and it's like, yes, obviously, they would have a more comfortable life living with him full time yeah but oh it's difficult isn't it i mean i can't help but think i mean she's got 50 percent of the time where she could work yeah you know and i've i've had um you know similar and you know long long days at work Mm. okay days at work op has said we live in new york city And the law is the parent who makes more has to pay child support to maintain a similar lifestyle in both homes. Kayla and I briefly discussed me having full custody and she thinks just because she's poor, that doesn't mean she shouldn't have custody of her kids. My son wants to, daughter does not. Okay. Okay. So the son wants to live with dad full time, but the daughter doesn't. That's what I took from that. Um, I yeah I understand she's saying because she's poor that doesn't mean she shouldn't have any custody but she's also not putting any steps in place to try and bring herself out of poverty no she's not by the sounds of it she's not making any attempt at all yeah um 
because I mean, even if you use this time to get a qualification, hmm? if she was studying, you know, hmm. with a view to getting a job, but that it doesn't sound, you know. Yeah. She sounds a bit like a nihilist in a way. I know that's quite, probably quite harsh, but yeah. And Someone's, entitled. Um, Someone said, assuming you pay the support ordered and work full time, not the a hole. Who are these Facebook people criticising how your girlfriend chooses to spend her money? Exactly. <laughs> yeah. And are you really qualified for a job that will pay significantly more than your current one that would have a real impact on your children? You'd need lots more to move an entire family out of the hood. <laughs> yeah. If you have spare money, I'd use it to buy experiences for your kids like sports lessons, tutoring, summer camp, not just for their well, mum to said, budget. He said he was putting money away for college yeah. for them. So Yeah. OP has replied, um, exactly, even if I could move them out of the hood, Kayla can't afford to live in a better neighbourhood. The cost of goods, food and everyday items are more expensive in the better parts of New York City. I mean, New York, well expensive to live in a city, isn't it? Especially yeah. in New York. Am I supposed to pay for that too? I can't fully support two separate households. And I think Kayla should at least try to support our kids too. Um, well, exactly. And apparently the kids are eligible for free programs because of Kayla's income. But he can budget for more. Well, I mean, you know, mm. and he's got them 50% of the time. Yeah. And he's, he's already, already giving already, her money. And he's giving her money and he's working. So he's got all of that and he's got a relationship to look after as well. Yeah. You know, he's already a pretty stretched guy in terms of his time. Mm -hmm. You know, so when's he going to find the time to go and get a better job and do the better job? Because well, he said he can work for his girlfriend and make more money, but... He shouldn't have to. No, certainly not, you know? unless that's something that he wants to do for the right reasons. Because, you know, if they that changes the dynamic of their relationship if mm -hmm. they start working together, and that could lead to troubles. It and he could. should, could. you know, he shouldn't put his life in jeopardy because his ex is what really sounds like ultimately lazy she and does entitled. Sound lazy. She sounds if she's lazy. Never and worked. It, never worked. Lazy never worked. and entitled, and she's, you know. Clearly, she well, she's more than likely not been spoon-fed growing up. Well, no, he said they all grew up extremely poor. Yeah. But him and Serenity have, you know, bettered themselves. And yeah, and themselves she's, she's chosen not to, but... Some people just want to live on handouts. And it, she sounds like one of those people. She just wants him to pay her more money. And she probably, undoubt, I mean, I speculate here, but she probably terminated the relationship and kicked him out. I mean, we don't know what's we going on. We don't know, there. but, but um, it is mostly women that are in the relationship. Yeah, so, you know, kind of made your bed, honey. Yeah. But it's a difficult one because, yeah, the kids could just go and live with him and have a better lifestyle overall and then just see their mum when they want to. But the daughter doesn't want to do that. No, and you don't want to separate siblings. No, you don't want to separate them. No. So it's a difficult one, but we wish you luck anyway, OP, and hope... Yeah, good luck. ...the situation gets resolved somehow. Um, yeah, maybe when the kids are a bit older, they might change their minds. Well, I mean, obviously, 15, she's going to be an adult in a few years, although it's 21, really, in America, isn't it, you consider Yeah, but adult. 18 is... adult. Yeah. But, yeah. Well... Let's hope they get that sorted anyway. Yes, good but, luck to you. But he's definitely not the a-hole. No, in my I opinion. definitely not. Definitely not. <laughs>